Look who we found, the AMA Hall of Famer, Jeff Emig himself. How you doing, Jeff? How's this year been going for you? It's been fantastic. Uh, 2019 has been good to me, but more importantly, I just got done doing uh, joining you, Jack, here to uh, 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 voice over my second best in the desert. We did Vegas to Reno 2019. Pretty exciting show, so nice to wrap that up here at Lucas Oil Production Studios. If fans are going to be able to check that out on NBC Sports and MAV TV, totally insane. We just watched these guys go eight hours through the desert, 120 plus miles an hour. Is that something you would like to try someday, it's, maybe? It's grueling just watching it, let alone uh, being in the truck, either co-pilot or actually driving the vehicle. So you don't want to miss it. it. It definitely was exciting. Bring us up to speed on what's going on with you. You, you doing any riding? You out there on your bike at all? Always doing a little bit of riding uh, as a brand ambassador for Husqvarna Motorcycles. Uh, uh, you know, I stay fairly active, especially for being 48. Uh, brand ambassador for, for uh, Shift MX and Fox Racing. Uh, you know, I'm always out there riding and 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 uh, joining the local tracks and then flying all around the world uh, doing what I do. Uh, new grip that I had out this year, the Emic Pro, uh, you know, uh, with ODI grips. I've so, heard a lot of great things about that. By yeah, the way. how's been, that going for you? Been really successful. The customers love it, uh, and that's what's the most important is that we made a great product for them. Um, you know, I'm going to run it no matter what. So. Uh, yeah, it's just been good. I can't complain. Uh, being a dad has been fantastic this year, and I've really enjoyed uh, 2019 so far. Is it nice to take a little break from TV and have a little time to yourself and time to your family? Yeah, well, I'm going to be right back at it here next week. I fly to uh, the Netherlands for the 2019 version of the uh, FIM Motocross of Nations. So that's always a good one. And you got some good memories there, don't you? Does that bring you back in time a little bit to your riding days? Well, I do. I, I raced the Motocross of Nations uh, six straight years, and uh, I got about three wins and three that I didn't win. So it's 50-50, but I tell you, some of those wins were the best ever. What would you think about the Lucas Oil Pro Motocross season this year? That was another thrilling, exciting season for those guys. It was. It was really a lot more competitive than what the final points gap between first and second looked like. Uh, there were some outstanding rides and, and some, you know, seeing Ken Roxon come back, seeing Justin Cooper uh, emerge in the 250 class and seeing Cirillo finally win a professional championship, uh, Tomac winning three in a row. It just, it was pretty cool. What's the future hold for Jeff Emming? What are we going to see you doing here in months to come? Well, just working on uh, the Real Talk 447 podcast with Ricky Carmichael, uh, developing new products under the Emig brand. Uh, and then continuing uh, my business uh, with Husqvarna, uh, uh, Shift MX, and Fox Racing. I'm really blessed to be a part of three of the greatest brands in the industry. And the final thing I have for you, I've been twisting your arm. I know you're the whole shot king. Any chance we get you out to the motorcycle drag races one of these days to see see what you can do in that Husky? I do have pretty good reaction time. So maybe I could get Husqvarna to set me up with the Vit Pelin uh, 701. We'll drop it down. We'll get that swing arm back as far as we want, and we'll see what it'll do in that quarter mile. Awesome, man. Jeff, can't wait to hear you on Best in the Desert. Oh, it was so much fun. Thanks. Thanks so much to Jeff, and make sure you check him out on Best in the Desert, Vegas Dorino. It is absolutely wild. You can see it on NBC Sports. You can also see it on MAV TV. And how about what Jeff said about maybe getting the Husqvarna on the drag strip? Let us know your thoughts on that. How cool would that be? In the meantime, make sure you subscribe to Cycle Drag on YouTube and smash the bell. Like CycleDrag.com on Facebook for much, much more and many more updates coming your way.